guys, what's up? Welcome back to Turkey. As you can see, I am at the airport. I'm going to Istanbul today. Yay! This is the second time I will have gone to Istanbul in like less than a month, I think. So, I'm eating breakfast. Yeah, And I brought this from home because I'm cheap. Yeah, this was 20, 24 lira. I mean, it's good, but 24 lira. Look at that. Normally it would be four. So anyway, I thought I would do like a teeny tiny little vlog. Go get your breakfast, go get something to eat, and we can eat together and we can hang out. My flight is at 10.30. I got here really early apparently. So I'm going to Istanbul just for one day um, to shoot an advertisement with three other YouTubers. So that's what we're going to be doing. I actually have a hotel booked and my flight is leaving tomorrow morning, but one of the kittens is really sick. So I'm going to try to change the flight for tonight and just leave today. Like, yeah. So anyway, how are you guys? How's everything? Let me know if there's anything new. How's your July going? Mm. I can't believe we're like halfway through summer. I'm so happy about it. Usually Izmir is a lot hotter in July, but it's the middle of July and like knock on wood, we haven't really gone over a hundred degrees. For my book for the airplane, don't mind the coffee stains, I may have spilled coffee all over it. Okay, I'm reading this, it's called Life After Life. I read it because another YouTuber, Renee Amber, she suggested it. Um, it's really good. If you're interested in like life after death and what happens when we die, you'll like this book. It just talks about people who have had near-death experiences, like they died and they came back. And they basically just talk about like what they saw and what happened. And it's so interesting because like all the stories are basically the same, even though they're people from like all over the world. And yeah, very interesting book. Normally, when I go to the airport, I always get coffee, and since Starbucks is the only option, I always get Starbucks, but I'm literally scared to see what the Starbucks airport prices are after inflation. I'm scared. <laughs> Okay guys, so as you can see, we are at the green screen studio and we are just filming some stuff with three other YouTubers. Let me show you guys. Guys, say hi. Sorry. Hi, hi YouTubers. What's up? It's just the vlog. Yeah, that's nice. Are we talking about the... Talking about the... TV? Oh, it's not Oh, 
Günaydın. It is Thursday. This, by the way, this I just got from Caudalie and it's so amazing for summer if you have dehydrated skin like me. This is perfect because it hydrates your skin really well, but it doesn't, like it absorbs quickly. You know what I mean? It doesn't leave like a lit, oh my God. Oh my God. One of the cats is climbing the fence. Oh my God, my neighbors have a barbed wire fence and the cat is climbing it. Okay, she's climbing back down. See, this is the stress of being a cat mom. It doesn't end. Anyway, if you're looking for good skincare, <laughs> call today. No, Kip. No, Kip. Kip, this is hot, Olum. It's very hot. Spent leaving Aiden Fucci in this patrol car with his phone. It may have been an intentional act. Posted on social media from the backseat of what looks like a deputy's patrol car. It's, you know, not uncommon. Blood was tested and came back positive to having come from Tristan Bailey. Aiden Fucci's DNA was also found on Tristan's body, although it has not been revealed where the DNA was found or what kind of DNA it is. Saying in their posts that he was involved in the murder, they're putting up his picture without his knowledge or consent, he's 15, it's just awful. Still others have alone, then I go through these messages, these claims, and work to figure out if any of these allegations are real or coming from someone who might have been a possible witness. Mommy. Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, oh mommy, mommy, mommy. <laughs> it's been what, like two hours, do you? <laughs>
Ouais, c'est ça. It's it really pretty colors. <laughs> Just left the drawing club and sadly as you can see our friend had his phone stolen so I just thought that I would maybe explain what happened just because writing it on the screen doesn't exactly like you know, explain it so it's really sad we're all really upset for him uh, so what happened was he was sitting next to me and these two children on a tandem bike came over and immediately like all of us got really tense because we know like this can happen this is like um, a relatively common thing unfortunately that children kind of work in pairs and they steal they distract you and then they while they distract you they steal your phone um, it happens frequently so I'll just say that because I'm trying to give you guys like just an accurate depiction of my life I don't want to sugarcoat anything I don't want to trash anything I just want you to see the real thing that's happening so he was sitting next to me and the two children like one of the boys you can see also you can see in my video because I was taking slow-mo videos because the lighting was good and I was like oh I can post this on Instagram and luckily I caught one of the thieves um, you can see in that video the exact moment when the boy sees my friend's phone you can see in his eyes he's like oh I'm gonna steal that guy's phone so he went up to him and he kind of sat like right next to him and he took his eraser because we were drawing and he distracted him with the eraser and he was like what's this eraser you know my brother what's this eraser and while my friend was looking at the eraser they must have just slipped it right out of his pocket and he didn't realize because they do it like they do it so frequently that they've become really good at it and so he didn't realize until like 10 minutes later and then he just jumped up in the middle of our drawing session and he was like they stole my phone and <sighs> so we all jumped up we all separated looking for the kids running to the police uh, the security everyone and luckily I got a picture of the kids so we were trying to like send it but unfortunately there wasn't a lot of um, hope they were the security and everyone they were just kind of like look your phone's gone man the kids are gone the phone's gone this happens all the time so yeah we didn't get a lot of um positive feedback for that so we felt really really bad but my friend was taking it like a champ he was like it's gone it's whatever oh so anyway yeah I just want to give you guys an accurate depiction of what my life is like, so I hope I don't, I don't know, that's it. Anyway, uh, we all got like the heebie-jeebies, 
we felt so paranoid after and then everyone in the group was sharing their horror stories like oh this happened to me so I was like okay you know what I'm gonna go home a little earlier tonight because I'm not feeling I'm not feeling too safe right now so uh, that's what I'm doing I'm gonna go home lock myself up with my cats and I might leave at next week or so so yeah this might be the end of the vlog I don't know we'll see we'll see